Okay. Mm. Uh, well, can I just say thank you to Alison? I'm sitting here today because of the great teachers that I had. I went to Western Hills Education Centre, a great community centre a community education centre in Edinburgh. And without that inspiration of those teachers and the great learning that I got and my colleagues got, um, I'm not sure we would have been, had any social mobility whatsoever, so thank you. Um, but look, politics is all about choices, isn't it? And we released some figures last week that shows that your wages, Alison, and the, the other teacher here, um, is on average across Scotland £800 lower in real terms since 2010. So the chickens are now coming home to roost because you were asked as public sector workers to help the government uh, out of the hole they were in with austerity and now you're being asked again to pay the price for inflation being out of control inflation out of control uh, made in downing street so we've had 12 years of wage stagnation we now have an inflation crisis which means that we have a interest rate crisis which means your mortgages are going up as well we have a cost of living crisis we have an energy crisis and all of that is because of government decisions so you now come rightly and say after everything we did during the pandemic and the education being the biggest contribution we can make to the economy, we're asking for a fair pay rise. And you're right, it has to be fair. Well, I've asked the other Very two much. politicians on the panel, would you pay 10%? Would Labour well, pay 10%? I think, that, I think five per, the 5% is too low because people are still out on strike. The 10.5% is negotiating. I would just say to the government, nothing has been done. There's been no new offer since August last year. Get round the table, thrash it out, negotiate the pay, negotiate the conditions and get an agreement. That's the only thing governments can do and they need to get down and do it.